Yep. Hello. Hi, is this is this Chandler? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chandler. Um, my name is Jeremy. I'm actually calling from the Delta corporate office here in Atlanta, Georgia. How are you tonight? Uh, fine. Yeah, great. Um, reason I wanted to ring you up, um, just had a little bit of an issue. Um, I'm actually in the social media department. <clears throat> um, we found a tweet online. How many people are on this call right now? Pardon? How many people are on this call right now? Well, right now it's just myself, but I actually have a rep from British Airways. We had one ahead of conversation with you in regards to your video that you posted. Okay, um, so there's two people on the phone right now. Got it. Okay. Correct, correct. A rep okay. from British Airways and myself from Delta. Um, I, we just wanted to basically get kind of the premise on why you had posted that on Twitter and, and named Delta um, and basically kind of interviewed different passengers and whatnot. And could you give me a little bit of premise on that? Yeah, I, I'd love to give you some premise on why I posted that video about Delta. Y'all fucked me. Here's what happened. Okay. I was supposed to fly back from, uh, we'd been camping in the Everglades for a week. And then the morning, we were supposed to fly back the afternoon, rather, the shooting happened at the Fort Lauderdale airport. So we called and said, hey, there's a shooting at the airport. Our flight's not going to take off. No, no, it's fine. Your flight's taking off. Okay, well, we are we have all of our shit in a backpack. Like, we have to get a rental car to get back there. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. Okay, well, could you maybe put us on a flight out of, like, the Miami airport? Because that airport's all screwed up. Well, we could, but we'd have to charge you to change your flight reservations. So we're not going to do that unless you want to pay for it. Well, no, I don't want to pay to change that, so that's okay. So we ended our camping trip, we take the rental car back, and then we get a notification, the flight's been canceled. So we call again. Hey, looks like our flight's canceled now. Can we fly out of Miami? No, everything's booked out of Miami. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what would you like for us to do? This was a Friday, I think. Uh, Well, the next flight I have is on Monday. Okay, well, where are we going to stay? We're not putting you up. That's not our problem. We're supposed to put you on a flight. Can you give us a hotel? Can you reimburse us? No, I can't do that. Okay, well, can you get us out of Palm Beach? Or could you get us out of Miami on Sunday? Or Saturday would be good. My girlfriend has to work on Sunday. Nope, all those flights are booked. Everything's booked up. Well, can we look somewhere else? How about what's the next nearest airport? Uh, I guess it'd be Orlando, but that's three and a half hours. You can't drive that far. That doesn't make any sense. The best Mm -hmm. I can do is Sunday or Monday. Okay. Well, can you check Orlando anyway? So she gets us booked on a flight in Orlando. We drive through the night, get another fucking rental car, drive to Orlando, buy a hotel room, wake up in the morning, get to the airport. Her flight is okay. My flight gets canceled, but it doesn't say on the kiosk. I I, I couldn't even get a boarding pass. So we waited sure. in that line for an hour and a half. There were three gate agents dealing with 200 people waiting in line to find out what was happening. We put in a call, tried to get on the phone with somebody. We were called back at 9 o'clock that night. So we ended up having to fucking drive from Orlando all the way to fucking Atlanta without a single word from anybody at Delta, without a comment, without any sort of clue as to what was going on. Nobody would speak to us that was there. Nobody would talk to us at the gate. So, yeah, by that point, I was pretty fucking mad, and I posted that. Yep, yep. That's totally understandable. So that's why I posted Um, that video. Okay, is that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that's... Are you a little upset? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, You know, basically, I deal with a lot of passenger complaints and a lot of of issues that happen in airports. Right, and do you um, usually call those passengers at 1130 at night on a fucking Friday night about it? Uh, you, you know, generally we don't, um, I had an inquiry okay. here, um, from, from some levels, um, rather high up and I wanted to get in contact with you, um, rather soon. We had a, a basic conversation with British Airways as we had a few customers, um, that were coming from our Delta flights onto British Airways, as you mentioned in your video. Um, and basically, uh, our partners at British Airways wanted to essentially get in conversation with you. And they had a few questions about why you were interacting with those passengers, um, in the airport and putting them in the video when you did, um, cause it kind of added some bad press to British Airways. And, and we have a few issues with that. I wanted to bring in, uh, Ron, <clears throat> wanted to bring in Ron 
who's going to have to ask you okay. questions about that, um, if you don't mind. Yeah, you, we, you just I, give me one minute here? Okay. Okay. Ron? Hi, this is Ron. pissed because we talked to those, that family that got posed. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Ron? Hi, this is Ron Blackman. I'm with British Airways. Hey, Ron Blackman of British Airways. How are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you, sir. How are you? A uh, little confused as to why I'm spending my Friday night talking to you, but, you know. Right. I apologize for the confusion, sir. This is um, a fairly time-sensitive matter that I wanted to make you aware of straight away. Um, it's in relation to the uh, YouTube video that you recently posted. Okay. So, um, you took it upon yourself to... Uh, do some illegal filming within the airport. You filmed several of our customers and uh, one of the representatives you actually got on the camera um, mm -hmm. was also a British Airways representative who did not give you permission to uh, to publish their image. And okay. So uh, I'm, I guess first and foremost... You're suggesting that my filming on the air side of the airport was illegal? Yes, sir. Completely illegal. You, I don't know if you're. That's not true. I've, I've uh, worked in journalism sir, for sir, about fifteen years. Sir, ex excuse me, sir. Uh, I've worked for British Airways for over twenty-five years. I'm very, you know, um, familiar with the laws surrounding this kind mm -hmm. of thing, and it is absolutely, okay. completely against the law for you to film our representatives and publish their images on the internet without permission. Mm. Okay, now as a journalist, uh, any kind of credible journalist, you, you should have been aware of this. And this... Uh, I'm, I'm, first of all, I don't understand why you're calling me to insult my credibility well, as a journalist. Sir, please, if you maybe... Uh, that sir, doesn't really if you'll maybe, sir, if you'll maybe shut up and let me finish, uh, I can actually get to what I was trying to say. Would that be okay? Go right ahead. Okay, so... You have committed a, a violation of the local laws as well as international laws by illegally filming one of our colleagues and uploading it to the internet without their permission. Um, not to mention that it's a very aggressive and defamatory video which again carries its own uh, kind of laws and, and regulations. We are calling to ask you, first of all, politely to remove that video. Uh, and perhaps even post an apology to the colleague whose whose human rights you have violated. Okay. Uh, it is. I mean, first off, uh, you know, is that something? Is, is it my turn now, or are you? Sir, I, I was just about to ask: Is that something that you would be willing to do, as a, you know, without any legal action being necessary? Legal action. What kind of legal action? Well, sir, if you don't take down the video, uh, we will engage our legal team to uh, to take legal action against you to, to have that video removed and for adequate compensation to be paid to our colleague. Uh, did I speak to this colleague directly? No, you, you filmed them with your camera. Okay. Did, did this colleague identify themselves to me as an employee of your company? Yes, by the fact that they were wearing a uniform, they were standing behind the desk and wearing identification. I thought that would be obvious, especially to someone uh, who, who... Individuals wearing, individuals wearing a uniform... I, I'm sorry, I was are... still speaking. Uh, I, I said especially to somebody who claims to be a legitimate journalist. Right, so... Are you done again, or I just want to make sure? Right, there's no need to be flippant with me, sir. I can just go ahead and commence with the uh, legal action, if that's what you prefer. Uh, pretty sure no laws have been broken. I don't know what law specifically you're suggesting I broke. Sir, there... there uh, do you filmed in a, in, in a place that is accessible to the public. It was not hidden that I was filming in any way. 
I, I didn't. And I, I didn't, didn't say, say anything it was. defamatory about uh, your airline. You you absolutely did say you badmouthed the airline. You exaggerated. Um, you made exaggerated I claims about the length Delta. of the. I didn't say anything about your airline. Uh, you you absolutely did, sir. I've literally just five minutes ago reviewed the video, and you are specifically speaking about Delta repeatedly. Hey, Ron. Yeah. I, I believe I believe you end. I, I believe Ron. I, I, I believe Ron, you ended. Ron, I speak. Sorry, yeah. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, Ron. Ron, uh, this, this is Jeremiah again. Ron, if I might speak to this for a moment, um, sure. Chandler, I just wanted to let you know that we had um, uh, one of our staff who had you had essentially chastised in the video had actually resigned that evening um, after the video was up, um, and knowing that it was on the internet at that point. One of our staff has actually resigned. Um, and the reason that we're taking this, you know, pretty wholeheartedly here is because of because of that and a few other matters in, in regards to the defamation. And um, for that reason, we wait, really wait, wanted wait. to... Now, def defamation does not apply here. I didn't state anything that was incorrect. And if I remember sure. anything about media law, it's that it's neither slander nor libel if it's true. And nothing I stated was false. Okay. I stated opinions, uh, and opinions. That, that's, false. I, I object that is, to that completely. That is, that is definitely up for debate, um, and I think that that's kind of why we're having this conversation with you. We wanted to approach this from a standpoint of just speaking with you uh, to get some information first and foremost. Um, but Ron, go ahead and continue because I think the majority of the issue is with with British Airways. So. Yes, uh, and I think, if you don't mind me saying so, sir, your understanding of the law seems to be very um, confused, I think would be the word here. Uh, I, I don't believe you're a lawyer, and I certainly don't believe you're, you're up to date, you're aware of what the actual law states. Okay, and I would seriously suggest that you get some legal advice before making statements like this. You, you did commit... Slander and defamation. You're, you're calling me. You're calling me at midnight on a Friday night to issue threats about a video that I posted. It's not. About not it's your nobody's. Airline. Nobody's threatening you, sir. And it's not midnight. Okay. You. You seem to have a tendency all, towards you exaggeration. Said, you said it. it's eleven thirty Eastern time. That's not you midnight, sir. I have some credibility. You suggested I don't know what I'm talking about. You've continued to suggest that I'm acting flippantly. And you've been completely condescending throughout this entire conversation. I'm sorry, sir. I disagree with that completely. Um, before we proceed, would you mind if I place you on a brief hold just for 30 seconds while I confer with my colleague and decide how we're going to proceed? We, we just want to bring an amicable resolution to this problem as quickly as possible. That's all we want here. Well, then why wouldn't you approach it amicably? I, I Why believe you we, come to me and say, look, we had an employee resign because of this. That's exactly this what we've nightmare. done. That is exactly what... We're dealing what, with it. Can you help us? That is exactly... That is exactly what we have done, sir. We've politely called you to try and Bullshit. avoid... Please, you sir, please don't swear don't at me. Please, please don't swear at me, sir. There is really no need for that. That's offensive. Sir, uh, this conversation is between you and I, sir. Can you please ask your wife to be quiet so we can just speak properly, please? No, I'm... <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello? Hello, sir? I'm sorry about that. Hello? I sir, I think the phone got disconnected. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, why did you hang up on me? I didn't hang up, sir. I don't know what happened. Um... What I'd like to do at this juncture, if that's okay with you, is I'm going to put you on a very brief hold and just speak to my colleague, and, and we're going to come back with a solution to this issue, okay? And I, I apologize sure. if things have got off on the wrong foot. I, I really do. I would like to resolve this with you in a peaceful way. Can I just put you on a brief hold while I speak to my colleague? Sure, that's fine. Thank you so much. Okay, he's on hold. This motherfucker okay. is really pissing me off. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, um, yeah, I, I you could say that again. 
Jesus what, Christ. What a fucking asshole. What's his name? Chandler. That's a fucking wow. gay ass name to Seriously. begin with. And, and his uh, bitch ass this... wife in the background yelling shit as well. What the fuck was all yeah, that about? I, I, um, I don't think she has anything to do with it. Was she even on the trip? I have no idea, to be honest. I, I think, yeah, they're, they're, I see a couple of tickets here, so... Um, you know, what, I, I don't give a shit. You should, you know what, it, it, on your side, you guys just need to have legal, serve the papers. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, have I've, his I've already... information, you have his address. I've already spoken to legal about this. Because he's in the States, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier if you guys, like, sue the fuck out of him for the video. Yeah. We can do that. We can do that. Um, well, I mean, it was it was it was on our side that she resigned, so that's fine by us. We can handle it. Okay. Um, I, I just want to make sure that all the PR issues are taken care of with uh, with BA. Um. Well, my guys are happy as long as the stupid ass video gets taken down, and uh, yeah. but um, we would like to get him also barred from from booking with Delta again. Can you? Put some yeah, kind of a I'm, block or hold on the account so that he can't book any yeah, more flights. I, I just put I just put that in as soon as he started in with the profanity and all that shit. I I, I, I issued those papers. I know right right off the bat he was cussing like uh, just immediately, just like absolutely right off the bat. I, I know mean, like, what a, what an it. uptight piece of shit. Um, all right, you want to bring it back in? Yeah, just... I'm I'm gonna take him off hold. You just explain to him, you know, politely that, that we're just gonna sue the shit out of him. Hey, and hey, hey, guys. We'll, we'll get our whole yeah, legal team on this. So, you, you know, right, fuck, let's fuck, get him on. Fuck him. Let's get him back on and we can just you know, uh, we'll go from there. Give me one second. Let me, uh, let me take hey, him off hold here. You okay. never put me on hold. Okay, go hey, ahead. Hey, Chandler? Hey, guys? Yeah, hey Chandler, how's you, it going? You you never put me on hold. Pardon? Ron. You never put Pardon? me on hold. Can you hear I, me? I don't I I can hear you now. I I don't understand what you're referring yeah. to. Um, just now, you know when you said you put me on hold and Ron called me a pussy and an uptight and an uptight piece of shit. And then you said you put a hold on my Delta account and I won't be able to book through you anymore. And then you said that my wife sounds like a bitch sitting in the bed. All that uh, was not on hold and actually got recorded. Oh, shit. So that Fuck. might be a PR issue for you as well, gentlemen. Fuck. Now, here's what I'm happy to do Jeez. is I'm happy to take down the video. And we just not fuck with my Delta account. And I have no interest in dealing with British Airways. Sir, please don't. I, I, please I don't no, swear. Sir, no, please calm, don't calm swear. Down. Like, calm down. Calm it down, please. Ron. Uh, sir, uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to there, but please, please don't swear at I us. I recorded you, Ron. I heard you. You forgot you, to put me on hold. You don't have permission to record my voice. He's this a, is a two-party state. Ron. You. We've got the entire conversation, guys. I have it right here on my phone. Well, you're not. You don't have my permission. Oh, will you shut and the fuck up? A one -party state, Listen, so tell that tell that fat bitch to shut the fuck up, please. Men are talking. Just straight up, shut up. This is going online. Thank you for that, gentlemen. You don't have my permission to put my voice no, online, you stupid not. cunt. I don't you just called me... You, a, you a professional organization just insulted somebody, on, you know... You stupid. Yeah, rightfully so. Yeah, rightfully right. so. Yeah, you deserve it. You were swearing and at us you, first. Your trip worked. I'll take this video down. That's what you wanted. And post an you're apology being for being a bitch. So why don't I, we call it a day? What we, really, what we really need you to do is post the apology video. That's what you need to That's do. That's not happening. happening. That's not happening. Here's what's going on. Right. Well, Georgia's a one-party recording state. That's not true. No That's not true. That's not true. So you're Georgia breaking the may law. Be a one, Georgia, Georgia may be a one-party state, sir. Delta is a billion-dollar yeah. industry. Okay? Do you understand what we can do? What can you do? So British Take Airways, British Airways have guess. an entire team of international lawyers. We'll hang you out to dry. Do you understand? Because I posted a video? And, 100% because And you because, did. because you and your overweight wife were yelling at us and swearing on the phone and, and recording our voice illegally. And now you're insulting me again and you think that's going to make it better. Oh, shut up, fatty. Sh shut up. This is being recorded still. You do know that, right, gentlemen? You're not allowed to record us. Turn the recording off I right now. How so dare you? Yeah. How? <laughs> 
headquartered in Georgia. I do that for a living. Oh, you do what for a living? I, well, like what, a what do you bitch. do for a living? We uh, we work at CNN. Yeah, bullshit. Oh, shit. Bullshit. Yeah. I've got I've got bullshit. Chan I've got Chandler's Google Chandler Friedman CNN right now. I've got your resume in front of me. It says you work at World Gone Silent. You genius. Google Chandler Friedman CNN right now. Well, you know, I'm, that's I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do what that, sir. Yeah, so. can you go ahead and do that? I, I've got this. Dick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of that. And your wife's what? A model for overweight clothing? Is that right? Why are that's you? Exactly why are you making so There's no need for you to be a dick. Well, you started. No you started swearing at me just because you're frustrated that you've got an ugly fat wife. There is no need to take it out on me. You called my home at 11.30 at night on a Friday night to I threaten me. I did not, sir. How you... did you expect me to respond? Sir, you called us. Joyfully? Chandler, are, do, you ever, do you ever appear on TV? You know, who are you? Tell us who you are. No, I'm not here. <laughs> 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 what the fuck would I do? Just, just, uh, well, well, you're telling us to Google you, so. Yeah. Why are you still having a conversation? Have a great night, guys. Because we're trying fuck to you, try fuck to you, out Chandler, and your fat you. wife is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the Macron Show is brought to you by CheekyVape.com, your premier spot for e-liquids, e-cigarettes, vaping supplies, and more. CheekyVape.com.